They're told they're great, da da da, yes. and the show ends. Yes. Then they got to go into society and be with people who don't care. There with yeah. people, they, they have to like, go, hey, I was on a TV yeah. show. I don't care. I don't. You're shorter than me, or whatever. Or you know, yeah, talk. whatever. Yeah, yeah just, they, they I don't. Get I don't care. That's irrelevant. Before we get started, please do us a favor and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more of our videos in the future. Hey there gang, what's up and welcome back to Plot Twist. Who doesn't love a bit of nostalgia? We all remember sitting on the sofa together with all our friends and siblings watching our favorite TV shows in the world on Disney, Nickelodeon and Cartoon Network. Now that we're in quarantine, it's the perfect time to catch up on the childhood shows we love so dearly. However, it's time to consider looking at them with a newer, more mature perspective. As you may know, we've all gotten pretty older over the years. So let's take a look at eight such Nickelodeon stars who have spoken out against Nickelodeon. The TV show, Clarissa Explains It All, was huge in the 90s. The star of the show, Melissa Joan Hart, launched her career because of her time on Nickelodeon and is grateful for that. However, she's also faced a lot of potential difficulties because her Nickelodeon work required her to be away from her family, working six days a week at such a young age. She's still dealing with the trauma of having to grow up too fast, and despite Nick launching her career, these events may have also ruined it. Here's Clarissa. You know there is nothing on TV but an endless stream of the same sitcoms, game shows, and commercials. That's what I mean. Where else can I experience the vast wasteland that we call the 20th century? A little stranger in the way she dresses. I think. Sometimes. Talk about a wardrobe, huh? <laughs> Clarissa's style is fun, imaginative, and there's no boundaries. Ta-da! What this world needs are more platforms that give people opportunities to showcase their talent. Ashley Argoda, also known as one of the True Jackson VP's main characters, brought this point up when she was asked about her time on Nick. For those of you who haven't seen her appearances in Disney shows, she has a beautiful voice and is extremely talented. However, Nick held her back in that regard by never letting her sing, which she revealed on Twitter to a fan. The capital is Reykjavik. If you don't recognize our Reykjavik, oh. <laughs> our teacher's name is Vic. Does whatever she wants. She pays attention and she's a really good student. And she gets straight A's. I don't even want to know what was going on behind me. If there was, anyway, um, I guess we are kind of similar in school because we like to text, but we both pay attention and we both get really good grades. We've all heard of Nat Wolf by now, mostly because of his work in movie adaptations of John Green books such as Paper Towns and The Fault in Our Stars. While many people acknowledge these projects as the movies that made him famous, a lot of us already knew him from his time on Nick in the strangely named Nickelodeon TV show The Naked Brothers Band. We love this TV show and the soundtrack still rocks. The older Wolf brother acknowledged how awesome his TV show was, but he also said that his his TV show was one of the only good ones on Nickelodeon and that most of them were trash. Well, that's pretty harsh, Nat. But if he's talking about the more recent Nick show, then maybe he's right. Hey. Did you see what I just saw? Did they just kiss? I hadn't heard of her. And then as soon as she walked in, I was like, I think I've wrecked. I think you're on a, like a billboard outside my apartment in New York. And Can then we go to she ended up... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You might not recognize this actor's name, and maybe that's part of the problem. This guy played Ned in the Nickelodeon show Ned's Declassified School Survival Guide. Many of us adored this show growing up and can all agree that Werkheiser in his show deserved better. Werkheiser himself stated that while he thoroughly enjoyed his time on the show, he thought that Nick could have worked harder to promote it and would have liked to be the face of Nickelodeon for some of the award shows or to gain any form of extra recognition. We definitely agree. How long do I have to wear this cheese and thing? Just one period. But I'm not even Irish. Just dance the leprechaun dance. How my life has gone. But the older I get, the more 
um, kid actors freak me out when I'm around them. Really? Yeah. I'm Explain, just... Devin. Go. Yes. They were given everything. Yes. They're told they're great. Da da da. Yes. And the show ends. Yes. Then they got to go into society and be with people who don't care. There was. Yeah. Will admit it, one of Nickelodeon's absolute treasures was a little show named Drake and Josh. We're pretty sure even the mention of that TV show will have you singing the lyrics of the theme song in your head. However, while this show was a classic, you'll want to hear what one of the main stars, Drake Bell, had to say about this. Despite the show having ended a really long time ago, it seems that Nick is running out of ideas and bringing it back, and not in the way that we had hoped. Bell recognized that an episode of a recent Nick show, Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Don, sounded very similar to a movie named Drake and Josh Go Hollywood based on the main TV show. He certainly wasn't happy about Nick ripping off an original episode of his show, which he holds close to his heart, and we understand why he was upset. Plagiarism in any form is not okay. The entire audience erupts and sings the song, and I look at my band. I'm like, you know what? That we we had a number one. We had a, we had a hit song. Well, we've talked about Drake, and now it's time to bring up what his other half on the show had to say about Nickelodeon. While Josh Peck didn't exactly have direct beef with Nickelodeon, he certainly did have a valid point when he talked about how tedious the process of being on a Nickelodeon TV show is. He discussed how he prefers producing and creating his own content because it would take Nick 12 months to edit and finalize anything after shooting it, which was a severely frustrating process in monthly or yearly and you're going to act in two of our movies and one of our tv shows and we're going to tour you around doing like some sort of act We're pretty sure all of you remember iCarly. This was definitely one of Nickelodeon's most famous and most watched TV shows of all time. It got so famous that even worldwide celebrities and influential figures such as One Direction and Michelle Obama appeared on the show. The lovable main characters Carly, Freddie, and Sam definitely kept us engaged and even left us rolling on the floor laughing our butts off. Unfortunately, the actress that played Sam Jeanette McCurdy had to open up about her dark history with Nickelodeon. Apparently, Dan Schneider, the creator of iCarly, was inappropriate with her too. But even aside from that, Nickelodeon did a lot to cause McCurdy a lot of trouble. When she was in a compromised position, having her private photos leaked against her will, Nickelodeon did nothing to support or stand with McCurdy against this crime. This appalling response from a TV network she worked for years fueled her decision not to attend the Kids' Choice Awards in 2014. She doesn't like me. I don't get why she doesn't want to smile for the camera. Like, shouldn't she love this? I'm giving her attention. Shouldn't she love this? Mm. No, you're chasing her down. Like, you're following her. Why would she love this? It doesn't make any sense to me, you know? Mm. Life's so difficult. I, I mean, I, I don't think young people should be allowed to be famous. Like, right. if there's somebody who could come in and say, no, they can't, this is, they're not mentally capable of handling this, I think that should happen. Um, because I, it just, you know. Many of you have guessed what it is, and I had to look out for me. I chose to not go because sticking up for what is right and what is fair is what my mom taught me is always the most important. The former Nick star turned worldwide sensation has a lot to say about Nickelodeon now. If we look at the statistics, Ariana's career definitely witnessed a colossal spike after her time on the Nickelodeon show Victorious. She was famous back then, but she's super famous now. While her Nickelodeon credits helped her make her way into the music industry, the starlet later revealed how traumatizing her time there really was. While we know her as the mature artist she is today, it took a whole lot of work to get rid of her child image. The media are dangerous for any and all celebrities out there, and they certainly spend a lot of time criticizing the thank you next singer 
for her career moves, such as the type of music videos she released and her style choices. Grande reported that while she loved the show, when it came to making more mature decisions for her life and work, she faced a lot of heartbreaking negative criticism. No one wanted to accept that it was time for her to grow up and do bigger and better things. Her time with Dan Schneider was reportedly very uncomfortable for her, given the creepy situation the showrunner has. Red hair, but wanted to do music really bad, so she was kind of stuck in this weird world where she was half her character and half herself, and yeah. it was like weirdly confused. But then shortly <laughs> after, it was like, hey, now it's time to actually be me. Do it. The guitar up would have been Cat's single. You know what I mean? It would have been like Cat Valentine's single. Yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> I really wanted to do music, but I couldn't wait, so I was like stuck in this weird world where like it was like I'm Cat, but I'm me. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, do let us know by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel for more videos in the future. Also, do watch the two videos that are on your screen right now because they're really well worth your time. And with that, I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.